Good morning, good evening, or something in between. Welcome back to the groovy third installment of Don't Mess With Your Mouse. Mouse gestures, yeah baby. As a salaries instructor for over 20 years, I see a lot of students chase their mouse, which costs time, which means you're losing money, during the design phase. And I don't have time on a ticking deadline. In my essentials class, I focus on efficiencies and proficiencies, and I focus on them like a freaking laser beam. So here goes. Mouse gestures, two, three, four, eight, twelve. Who do we appreciate? Well, what is a mouse gesture? It's a right mouse sensitive menu, and we have the ability of setting up two icons, three icons, four icons, eight icons, or twelve icons. And by doing a right pick drag, we're going to get these different circles on our screen that have icons in it that are available to us as we work. You'll notice that we have a circle for our part, we have a circle for our sketch, we have one for our assemblies, and also for our drawings. So how do we customize it? You simply go to any toolbar on your screen. You do have to have a part, assembly, or drawing open in order to do this. But inside of any toolbar, you simply do a right mouse button. You're going to go to the Customize button. And then by activating Customize, you're going to get your Customize window. And inside this window, you're going to notice that there's a tab that says Mouse Gestures. By going to the tab that says Mouse Gestures, you will notice in the upper right-hand corner, we have your drop-down for the number of gestures that you would like. By default, SolidWorks installs with four gestures. We simply open up the window and we choose the gestures that you are most comfortable with. In this case, I'm going to do 12. And then I get a preview of those icons that are in the gestures. Now you'll notice on my screen that I have boss and cut and boss and cut. One for the part, one for the sketch. If you do this on your computer, and if you haven't customized this already, you probably won't see those two icons for part and for sketch. So how do we customize this? Well, you simply go over to your categories and you choose from the dropdown the toolbar that you want to use. You find the icon and you simply do a drag and drop replacing the icon that's already there. By doing this, you have now customized your mouse gesture. No need to hit the escape key. Again, you're wasting time. So here I have a part. Let's use mouse gestures to see how quickly I can build this component. So I'm going to go to any toolbar area and right click and go to customize. Inside the customize menu, we're going to go to the mouse gesture tab. By doing so, you're going to notice that we get our preview window showing us the four gestures. I like setting mine to 12. You notice that we have part, sketch, assembly, and drawing. Now these are showing me my standard icons. Let's go customize that. So I'm going to search for my extrude command. And here you're going to see our boss and our cut. So I'm going to grab the boss and drag it over to my part window. Drag and drop and place it in the position that I like. I'm going to do the same thing for my sketch. Let's grab our cut, extrude, drag and drop, and drag and drop. Or I can also search for the command on which toolbar it's in. So I'm going to type in insert. This, all of the commands that are inside of my insert pulldown, including boss and cut extrudes. So here's my list, and I'm going to go and find the one that says revolve. I'm going to drag it and drop it into my sketch window. Because again, if I'm going to build a sketch, I'll probably use a revolve right after. And I say OK. And that customizes our mouse gestures. So I'm holding a new, new part with a brand new sketch. I'm going to go to my mouse gesture, start a rectangle. I'm going to go to my rectangle function, just went to my dimension tool, 
place a dimension on the top, place one on the side. Now I'm purposely running through this kind of fast so you can see how they're actually used. I just went to my boss extrude, drag it to the size that I want, place it, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna hit the green check to okay that. Click on the face, start a brand new sketch. Once again, go to my mouse gesture, go to my circle command, draw the circle in. Mouse gesture, I'm gonna go to my dimension tool. This video has not been altered in any way and is currently running at real time. So I'm gonna add my last dimension, my diameter value. Once again, I'm gonna do my mouse gesture, go to my cut command, right click in space, through all, right click, and I'm done. Let's go back to our mouse gesture, I'm gonna to go to our fillet tool, I'm gonna to grab that top edge, wait for my selection manager to come up, I'm gonna pick on that top edge, wait for it again, and that grabs all four corners. Right click in space and say okay. Okay, so that was done pretty fast, and again, real time, so let's slow this down. So I do a right click, drag down to the bottom, and there's my rectangle function. Pick, drag to draw the rectangle in. Right pick, drag, here's my dimension tool. Pick on the top line, place the value. Pick on the side line, once again, place the value. When I'm done with that, I'm gonna do another right pick and space, drag, and there's my boss extrude. Activating that, my on-screen display, I grab the arrow, drag it to the desired value, and once again, right click and space. Start a new sketch on the face. Right click drag, there's my circle command. Draw my circle on the face. Right click at the top, once again go to my dimension tool. Pick on the circle, pick on the edge, place it, and do the same to the side. And then add in one last dimension for the diameter. Right click in space, drag and there's my cut command. Right click right where I am, save through all, right click, and I'm done. Right click, drag into space, and there's my fillet command. Pick on the top edge like we did before. Wait for the selection toolbar, grab the face. Left pick on the edge, selection toolbar, and right click, say OK. And that completes the task of building this model. So once you get familiar with where your mouse gestures are, you'll notice that you can fly through a design. Hey, what are you doing? I'm packing up. And you here? No, here what? We have one more shoot. You mean the stunning conclusion, the power of the S key.